Hello, it's Arthur Link and Ronan here. Just bringing you a quick video for Pisces season. I wanted to talk about this time of year, especially because of this auspicious you know, February 22nd, 2022, all the twos going on. I don't talk about numerology much because I find there are better systems to organize and explore reality with, but I do respect it, and I do respect the timing of tomorrow. So tomorrow, because we're in Pisces season, I want to encourage everyone to spend some time in nature and really connect with your soul. Pisces rules the feet, and I like to think of it as the sign that helps us teach our souls to walk on the earth, walk in human form. And so getting in touch with that aspect of ourselves is really important, you know, no matter how you do it, no matter what way your soul speaks to you, because Pisces is also, you know, indicative of healing. And true healing comes when our souls are fully aligned and taking more and more embodiment or space in our, in our lives. Because I think all, you know, not... Uh, disharmony or disease really comes from our soul trying to get our attention <laughs> through subtle and then louder and louder diseases or physical incidents. And so we can get ahead on that process and not have to wait for a wake-up call and really align with our deeper part of ourself. The metaphor I heard from my teacher last night was Reality is kind of like, you know, ripples on a pond or a lake. So that's us. We're all these little ripples, you know, bouncing off each other, colliding and all that. But I think of it not as so much ripples from above, but like bubbles coming up from below. And the depth of the lake and the pond is so much more than we can see on the surface. And it's these water signs, Pisces and of course Cancer and Scorpio, that can kind of feel the bubbles coming because it's their element. So that's, you know, psychic phenomena kind of explained, at least in a little bit simpler terms. It doesn't have to be something so esoteric. It's literally just the nature of reality and certain people being more sensitive to what's going on below the surface than others. So it's like they're just feeling things, you know. And that's what Pisces are really adept at is feeling those currents and riding the waves of change and the expansive, ever-changing nature of the universe. Um, through the individuation, individuation of the soul. And that's about as much as I need to speak about Pisces. I think it's better just to experience it for yourself. So again, take some time to really be out in nature tomorrow, especially on the on this special day, um, but in general, you know, I find that silence is a really good way to get in touch with the soul, so don't even think of it as meditation, just go out and be somewhere and be quiet, <laughs> because it's the mind that distracts us and gets, it doesn't want us to stop identifying with it, and this comes from a lot of Eastern traditions, that's, you know, like five years ago, if I'd watched this video of myself, I'd be like, yeah, I'll go out in nature, and then five, ten minutes later, I'd, you know, I'd be like, all right, I'm done. Because the mind would get bored, the mind would, it would, there's no more new experience for the mind to attach onto and identify with. And so, it pulls you away. So I invite you to resist that pull, to stay in nature in the silence, a little bit longer than you normally might be comfortable with. Not, not to <laughs> prove anything, but to with the motivation of like, okay, my soul is trying to reveal itself. That's why the mind's pulling at me. I want to wait. I want to see it. I want to see more of my soul. And uh, I wish you luck in that process. And let me know if you have any comments or cool experiences of this day and the numerology below. I don't know much about the, the twos. I know it, it reduces to a number, probably the four or the one. But instead of doing all that math, I just think, just reflect on the symbolism of two as being like, you're not alone. And, and then the partnership 
with the universe to create co-creation so yeah it's a beautiful process all right see you in the next video